going to get there. I mean, I, I think the the overall uh, like let's let's segue into uh, now him wanting to be traded. So right. and so my thing is I'm I'm all for player control. I've said this all along, and we've had some conversations on some of the movement LeBron's made or whatever. Yeah. But mm-hmm. LeBron's had that in his contract, like when you at the top of the game and he's at his level, like he strategically was able to do that in his contract with different options and different stuff or whatever. So right. leading into the trade, I would have preferred him to, okay, you're mad. Go play this one year. Show, you know, not even that you got to improve with the jump shot. Just go show what you've been doing right. and then show on a business aspect that, you know, other teams can want you or whatever. And so yeah. this is where I think he dropped the value for the Sixers in say, order who would to that, who, who would that have benefited though? But I'm saying uh, this is just like if from from a business aspect, and you know, for him to take care of his business and and maybe still make it through, I thought open it up to as far as let's let's try and get some insight on prior to the trade, and mm-hmm. and where did you guys see things going? Because I I would have kept him. Uh, I would have kept them to the end of the year you see, and tried to see. Make, get a better deal or something or whatever uh, instead of sacrificing what we gave up, Seth, Drummond, and uh, who else did we give yeah. up? Yeah, stupid uh, tax. First round picks, uh, you know, and then Ben. Sean, Sean, brother, you, you got you right, holding him, you wasn't going to get any more than, nah. wasn't going to allow you to get more than what you got. Holding him cost you what you gave up. Season. Yeah. He be, he be, he became a depressed asset, man. Like I, you know, you know, when you got an unhappy player who who told you straight up he ain't gonna be there, he don't want to be there, he, and, and to your face, I'm not. I will never play for you again. He, you got to get rid of him at that point. But wait, uh, wait, wait. Holding wait. him. Hold on, let me cut you off real quick. Not that we would have got more, we wouldn't have lost as much. We lost because, because you maybe, wanted to get him in off season. Yeah, you want to harden. Right, we get him in off season. We get harden because he has that option. To, would you rather have to Tobias to Harris anyway. or Ben Simmons? Though? So that's what I would ask. Because in order to sign him in the offseason, you'd have to move Tobias Harris. All right, yeah. And I didn't mean to cut you off, G, to finish finish yeah. your thought. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. That, that's a good point. But I'm just I'm just saying, you know, you, you can't just pick up from where you are. You got to look at where you came from to how you got here. You know, they could have had Harden last year straight up for Ben Simmons if they wanted him. They didn't want to give him up. They feel like, you know, he's a younger player. He has a higher... You know, he, he has a higher ceiling, they thought, in their mind, so they didn't want to give him up. Right. So, in my in my, in my my opinion, that was their mistake, not realizing he's not an asset to you anymore. Now he's a depressed asset because he's not going to play for you. Okay? He could, he, could, he could go become Michael Jordan for somebody else, but he would never be Michael Jordan for you. So, if I can, if I can just interject and just add a little, a little more to that. So... Everything from what I understand, and including what Ben said as well, and even even uh, listen to the the jump. Uh, what was it, Daryl Morey? Uh, I guess his title is not the GM. Elton Brand's the GM. I guess he's the president of basketball ops, or something like that, whatever his title is. But uh, yeah, the, the whole thing was is that this is part of Ben's problem because uh, last year they were they were willing to give Ben up for Harden. They wanted they wanted to. I didn't want him to because I really, when I was younger and I saw the potential and I thought he was going to evolve and do what he's going to do. But um. I didn't want to do it, but they were willing to do it. They had, they did have his name in the trade, but Houston was unwilling to trade James Harden here because Daryl Morey was no longer at Houston. So they didn't want to help Daryl Morey out. Because he so went they, to Philly. They yeah, took. exactly. So he wanted, yeah. so James Harden is, is being truthful when he says he initially wanted Philly. It was Houston that held that trade up. Philly was right. willing to put Ben Simmons in there, but Houston wasn't willing to send Harden over here to, uh, mm-hmm. to Philly. And that's one thing that set Ben off. That that's because they were they were talking about that last year during the season. How right. Ben was frustrated that he was involved in the in, in the trade. And um, but yeah, so um, and that kind of just set everything else off. And then he used that as the precursor to when he didn't shoot in the playoffs in the fourth quarter against mm-hmm. the Hawks. He right. used that combined with that the everything he got from that the. Joel Embiid's comments and Doc Rivers' comments. I don't know if he can be the point guard here. I don't know that yet. Right. You know, he used yeah. all of that and threw in right. the fact that he was going to be traded and just not really understanding the business of basketball. And as a as a person, I get it. 
Like you don't want to be traded. You don't want to be thought about like, oh, they want to trade me like as a yeah. human. But that's the business. That's the yeah. nature of the beast that comes with the territory. Your name's going to be out there. Um, right. So, but but, yeah. but but they but but the they've shown that it affects even veteran players, right? Even yeah. when even when LA was at, the, at when it gets the trade deadline, and their veterans they they start looking mm-hmm. even worse. They're going to be more shaky. Mm-hmm. So it, it doesn't, but they, you know, they they're able to to deal with it because they know it's 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 the nature of the business. I mean, yeah. But you got a young player, you exactly. know, he, he's trying to be all in. He's bringing, you know, I think he was he was giving what he gave, what he had to yeah. the team. He oh, wasn't yeah, short, yeah. He, yeah, he wasn't he short was. cutting the team, but then right. yet and still, right. they're saying I'm not good enough. You know, he's hearing that, and then he's you, you brought up the trade. Okay, they're willing to trade me. Then he's got MB taking little pot shots at him. Mm-hmm. So I, I just think he just said, you know, the F with all y'all, I'm done mm-hmm. with it. Mm-hmm. And, 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 you know, ch- childish as that may be, and as, as that may sound, when a man tell you he's done with it, then, you know, he's done with it. And it, even his but, agent, they were trying to talk him out of it. Yo, look, man, you, you got a lot of money. You know, you, you can't do this. And, and finally, they was like, yo, it, he's not playing. You he know? ain't playing. Yeah, yeah he, he's so not going to play for you guys. Here's the difference, though. The Sixers gave him a five-year contract with 170 million, yeah. based on what he could become, not what he mm-hmm. was currently doing, right. what potential he showed in order to be that better player. Mm-hmm. Once he developed a jump shot or whatever it is, and so if they if they value you at that uh, amount and they pay you that, then the expectation is is a little higher. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So if you show that potential. And that's what we paying you for. And then you decide like, no, I, I mean, I'm good at, from what I'm already doing. Like yeah. there's no need for me to improve this, that or the other. Mm-hmm. Cause that's the feeling I got out of it. Yeah. Then maybe the six is overvalued them, but he signed a contract. He agreed with it. Like, all right. So I'm pretty sure they didn't give him all that money to say, yo, just stay just like you are, you know, even though, you know, you have the potential to, to be a little better with a jump shot or whatever else. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, I mean, that's, that's how I seen it. Like, yeah, the Sixers overvalued him. I think he gave credit to that value. And, and once he decided for whatever reason, like it's, I'm no longer playing for you. Like I said, instead of playing that year out to allow his value to maintain and maybe be able to uh, be a better uh, a value towards the end of the season or whatever, mm-hmm. he devalued himself and in turn messed up the ability for the Sixers to trade him right. or to do anything right. And that's why, again, I would have said I would have sat on him. Now that, that 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 was intentional though. He he devalued himself to punish them. Yeah, yeah. You know. Okay. Hey, it, true. It, like I say, business sense goes out the window, man. It, it became personal. It, it, and, so and that's at, at this that's point, yep. is this is a personal thing between him and the organization, him and him and MB. Look, you know, you're gonna get rid of me right now. I'm not gonna play. You know, and if you're gonna try to hold me, I'm gonna punish you by just not even playing, not you know, not working on my game. So, like I said, I don't. I, I think if they had a they had a set in, he wasn't gonna work on his game. You know, right. he's just gonna sit around. He, you're not gonna get the value that you think you're gonna get for him going forward. Well, so, yeah, definitely. So my so my question though is that I mean, Sean, you said oh they overvalued him, and uh, and, and G, you just said uh, you know you weren't gonna he wasn't not gonna work on his game. But see, I, I I challenge that because I don't think that they overvalued him in terms of a player. Because they saw him in practice. They saw him up close. They saw what we don't see. They saw him working out. We know he worked out. He worked on his game um, because he, he posted that stuff out there. But we look at the fact that he didn't shoot and we summarize it and say he didn't work on his game. When he worked on his game, he just didn't. He just refused to do the basic principle of basketball. Shoot. Right. It wasn't that he couldn't shoot. Right. It's that he wouldn't shoot. Because right, he right. demonstrated in videos over and over again, yeah. the dude can shoot, right. and he looks like it's it's a pretty good jumper. Right. He just didn't want to do it. Right. And he he, he shot ahead. he shot better in college than what he does yeah. in, in, in the pros. And so it's it's a to me like I said, it's a mental thing. And yeah. they, they, like you say, they got in practice and when they was working on him in the off season, you know, he he knocking down these shots. Absolutely. So, so when, it's you not in, when you get in live fire, man, it's a little bit different. So what I, and my, I, my point about him not working on this game is 
in in Sean's thing about just hanging on to him, in my opinion, as a way to punish him. Yeah. Um, I think in that point, he's already showed you what he's what he what he's capable of. I, I think if you would have held on to him, he'd be like, okay, fine, you know, like. But it, I'm not it's gonna not make myself punishment. an asset for you. I wasn't saying that that was a. I would do that to punish him. That no, would just I'm not, be. Big, I'm saying that's business. my opinion. That's right. my opinion. Not not your intent, but my opinion is that's just a way to say we're gonna punish you because yeah. you know we're gonna make you do nah. something you don't want to do. When what? when he decided he wasn't gonna play, he already set the course. Like he's punishing him himself. He don't want to play. So again, I just go back to uh, again a regular Joe. Yeah. Either being in the military or whatever, like yeah. when you got wanna, when you go to yeah, work, I want to address especially that. if you sign a contract. I, I, do too. I, I, I want do too. I want I want to address this because you got to work. I'm glad you said that. I want to address this because uh, you know you hear a lot of times when people you know compare themselves to NBA players. Right. So that, I, I, I got a regular job. You. I go to work, man. I'm with you, brother. Uh, so I want to track that on two tracks, man. The first track is you know. When when we go into the military, right? When we sign our contract, our contract comes with sacrifices. Our contract comes with uh, giving up rights. Yeah. You don't have the right free speech. Okay. You you know you can't you can't go out and you think you're gonna go out and kneel somewhere. You don't have the right to not show up to work. We we sign to give up those rights. Mm -hmm. So I don't think you can compare that. I mean, I know I it's a People like doing that, but I don't think you can right. do it because I so let's, it's let's, a sacrifice thing for we, we, we give away many of our rights, you know. So let me serve. just respond. The purpose of a contract is to have an understanding on what's expected. So I understand that. Again, the military is tougher, but it's nothing specifically in a contract to say don't do like I, there are more specific than an NBA uh, player's contract, I would assume, but at the end of the day, a contract is a contract and it serves okay. the purpose that you have an understanding of what's required. So when he signed a contract for five years, he's basically saying he's he's going to play. So when right. you become disgruntled and you don't want to abide by the contract any longer, then mm -hmm. that's just like any other contract, regardless okay, of whether it's up. military okay. or anything okay. else. So that's my point with that. Yeah, use this as an example, though. Use it, I don't think the contracts are the same. Right. Kyrie. Nah. Kyrie signed a contract, right? Right. He decided he wanted to step away after the, the rise right. or whatever, whatnot, right? What happened to him? Okay, transpose that to me and you. We we see that we want to step away for a couple of weeks. What happened to us? We go to jail. There's different consequences, man. I mean, no. and, you can't compare. And, 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 yeah, but also, so too... We, it, but, you but also, compare. yeah, and I no. agree. You can't compare it here. If I can jump in on that, because like even even with the contract, you got to remember too with, with these players are dealing with, particularly in Ben's case right here, and a lot of these players have the same mindset. The 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 the, the organization expects me to abide by the contract, yet you're not doing it. Case in point, then if I'm signed here, my name is coming up in trade in, in trade rumors. Mm -hmm. Like you signed me to play here for five years of this money, but yet my name in the first year of this deal, you're about to trade me. Like right. naturally, yeah, that's part of the gig. But right. in his mind, like, nah, nah. So now that you're not gonna honor the contract that that we all signed together, I'm out. That's right. what I'm gonna use this as one of those reasons why I want out. And right. anybody can say what they want to say, the regular people out there who want to compare their lives to mine. Nah, they didn't honor the contract either. They're trying to right. trade me. And they right. were willing to do it. Right. This goes back to what I said. I'm all for player control. And mm -hmm. this is what the contracts are for. And this mm -hmm. is what options in the contract are for. I'm pretty sure the NBA has in there or each team that they have a right to make those trades. And it's up to the player to get with his representative or, uh, uh, you know, who, whoever's representing him to put options in there. And if they're unwilling to accept those options, like to have something to, to be able to get out, like, you know, if you do trade me, like I do get to say this, that or the other. So even though this is like his first big contract or whatever, like if they really want them, then that's the discussion you have before signing the contract. Once you sign right. the contract and you don't have options or anything else, like you said, part of the business is the uh, owners get an option to, to trade different players and stuff or whatever. Mm -hmm. And the only right. way you can take control of that 
is to put something in your contract. No, so no, that's not again, the only way. last thing. You're At right, the end right. of the day, contract serves as an understanding on what you can and can't do. Right. And when you decide to go against that, like uh, Chris was saying, uh, owners go against the contract when they trade them. No, that's in the contract that they're mm-hmm. allowed to do that. that. Otherwise, uh-huh. they just don't do it. It's It's, it's right. got to be in the contract well, well, in, in well, order for them to do here, that freely. Here's the thing. Like you say, it's a part of the business, right? right. Signing contracts. Also, another thing that's part of the business, Sean, is players being holding their holding their services, man. And so to to that's Wait, I mean that's that part again? of you don't like it, they can withhold their services. Mm-hmm. You you don't like that part of it, but that's part of yeah. the business. Um yeah. but people don't realize, you know, th- uh Ben is not the first person to held out and forced a trade. And that's what I was uh, gonna say. Those those think, are the loopholes. Think, I mean, yes. The Lakers, man, Kobe Bryant was surprised if he traded from the Lakers until they went out and got Gasol. I mean, he he was out. I mean, if you got a, a star player that don't want to be there, you got to move him, man. They do it. James Harden, he forced his way out of Houston. He was under contract. Mm-hmm. You know, that, it, their their way of getting around what you're saying is the only way to is to put the language in the contract. Right. The other right. side of it is there's right. other ways to get out of it. You know, right. and that's all. And that's all. And, and management knows that that is part of the business. They know. And they know. Okay, if we ain't keeping this guy happy, he want to get out. We got to get rid of him before he becomes a, a cancer to our organization. You know, so. And you know they a, know. And you know yeah, they know because they know. every sport's doing it, and they, and they, and they, they eventually know. give the player what they want anyway. Right. So they know that's that's the unwritten loophole in right. the contract. So and that's right. that's, that's the thing. They, they know that's, that's part all of it. part of it. Yeah, no, I agree.